Grouping hosts together in a VLAN has distinct advantages. For the most basic R-series system configurations, you might create multiple VLANs. That is, you create a VLAN for each of the internal and external networks, as well as a VLAN for high availability communications. You then associate each VLAN with the relevant interfaces, or lags. The VLANs configured can be used by tenant systems running on the R-series. A typical VLAN configuration is one in which the system has the two VLANs external and internal, and one or more for tenant big IP system interfaces assigned to each VLAN. From the There are two types of lags. Static ports in the lag are manually configured, and the group of ports assigned to a static lag are always active members. This is the default type of lag. Link Aggregation Control Protocol, or LSCP. When LSCP is enabled on a lag, the port is automatically configured into groups without manual configuration. The LACP protocol detects error conditions on member links and redistributes traffic to other member links thus preventing any loss of traffic due to a failed link.